Who ever thought that one person, the Federal Reserve Board Chairman, knows what the money supply should be? Just in the past six months, M1 has gone up at the rate of 30 percent. That spells inflation, that spells lower standard of living and higher prices, and watch out, they're coming. Yeah. 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 Tell us more about the blood sport, the comparison to this event compared to, uh, let's say, football, boxing, that sort of thing. Right. You know, football, boxing, these are called blood sports, but they really don't compare to the blood sport of ideas that are talked about in these debates. Because what goes on from here, people die as a result of these ideas, and there's real blood involved. And so it, it's important for Americans to realize that, you know, Monday Night Football is great. I love football. I love watching sports. But we're at a, a real time in our history where ideas matter much more than our favorite football team and who wins the Super Bowl. I'm a veteran of the United States Army, and it's very important to me and a lot of my friends that I left when I ETS uh, to bring heroes home out of frivolous corporate wars. Uh, the fact that my friends and my friends' brothers and my neighbors' brothers and daughters are uh, Dying for corporate greed that doesn't even trickle down to the to uh, our defense and only makes us more uh, unstable financially and physically. It's it's abhorrent. It disgusts me. And uh, and Ron Paul is the only uh, candidate up there that I truly believe uh, will stand up for his words. Why do you think that is that uh, more military support Ron Paul than any other candidate? Before I say anything, I'd like to say that uh, my views do not represent the views of the Department of the Army, Department of Defense. But uh, it's because a lot of us would like to see the war ended. That is the reason. He gets not only more support from all the re Republican presidential co candidates combined, but more than the current president combined, all of them. So every veteran I talk to, they're all behind Ron Paul. Uh, they will be going into Iran in the fall of 2012, right? Well, uh, they're not giving play to the fact that we've already touched down in Uganda. We've already touched down in Kenya. We've already sent drones over Somalia. We are expanding our empire in a way that's just not going to stop unless there is some serious, drastic change, not just to the way we're doing things now, but the way we think about ourselves in the, the world. I don't understand how we now have, what is it, five wars that are undeclared? I mean, we were bombing Libya, we're bomb now we have people in South Africa and in Somalia. I don't understand why people are, think it's suddenly okay to kill people just because their guy is in office. In my heart, I truly believe that Ron Paul is the last chance this country has. Because if they get by with this one, we're screwed. My father, he told me back in the late 70s that Ron Paul stood for liberty and he stood for sound money. Because in 1965, when they took the silver out of money, my father told me that one day the dollar will become worthless. A lot of us here realize that it's actually a lot more than just a presidential debate. There's, it's more than just one guy uh, to get us out of the mess that we're in and, and really uh, do the revolution that we need. But uh, it's so great to see that there are this many people. Uh, you know, I don't see a, a bookstore that's here for uh, Romney or, or uh, any of the other pres presidential uh, you know, uh, candidates. I see this all for, uh, for someone who actually cares about the people and is addressing issues that are really prevalent, like in the Fed, ending all wars, uh, stopping uh, the big government and the harassment of our people. And and, uh, you know, that, that's, that's something that's really exciting. Do you think uh, Ron Paul's, uh, he, he responded to some of the student loan questions. Did you like his response on those issues? Oh, I loved his response, and I think the government should be completely out of a student loan business. What they do whenever they get involved, they raise the price. Because if you say you're going to supply the money there no matter what, you increase the demand so the, um, the price is going to go up. If I said, you know, all Americans should have bicycles, and I was a president and I had a program that gave everyone, you know, money for bicycles or cars or something, what do you think the people who make the bicycles or cars are going to do? They're going to raise the prices. We have to wise up and look at where the bubbles come from. It's from the Federal Reserve, and we should start by auditing the Fed, and then we should end the Fed. Come on. Yeah.